had Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I just stumbled onto something that I think is a golden nugget in these days, in these times, and especially in these last days. And I would like for you to pray with me because a lot of us don't know what's going to happen to this country. We really don't know. Now, this is not my prayer per se. It's someone else's. And I'll explain afterwards. But I want you to hear this prayer. Agree with this prayer. Now, we may not all agree on all the little minor details. But we do agree on one thing. We have sinned in this country. Now, the prayer of repentance is for this reason. Listen. There's a scripture in 2 Chronicles chapter 7 voice verse 14. Let me see. Seven, yeah. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven will forgive their sins, and I will heal their land. How many of us in these different countries need God to heal our land? Well, knowing that, we also need to pray. And I want you to agree with me as I read this prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you today to ask your forgiveness and to seek your direction and guidance. We know your word says, woe to those who call evil good. But that is exactly what we have done. We have lost our spiritual equilibrium and reversed our values. We have ridiculed the absolute truth of your word and called it pluralism. We have worshiped other gods and called it multiculturalism. We have endorsed perversion and called it alternative lifestyle. We have exploited the poor and called it the lottery. We have killed our unborn and called it choice. We have shot abortionist and called it justifiable. We have neglected to discipline our children and called it building self-esteem. We have abused power and called it politics. We have embezzled public funds and called it essential expenses. We have institutionalized bribery and called it suites of office. We have coveted our neighbors' possessions and called it ambition. We have polluted the air with profanity and pornography and called it freedom of expression. We have ridiculed the time-honored values of our forefathers and called it enlightenment. Search us, O God, and know our hearts today. Cleanse us from every sin and set us free. Amen. Wow. And I add my amen in the name of Jesus. Now, I hope you agreed with that prayer. Pat's two cents. I'm going to read what the end said. The response was immediate. A number of legislators walked out during the prayer and protest. In six short weeks, Central Christian Church, where Reverend Wright is pastor, logged more than 5,000 calls with only 47 of those calls responding negatively. The church is now receiving international requests for copies of this prayer from India, Africa, and Korea. With the Lord's help, may this prayer sweep over our nation and wholeheartedly become our desire so that we again can be called one nation under God. Think about this. If you forward this prayer to everyone on your list in less than 30 
days. It will be heard by the world. How many people on your list will not receive this prayer? God bless you. And I leave you with that challenge. Amen.